Show the sports talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now some good news for the middleweight division. And that's Gennady Golovkin is going to be offered something significant for Mr. Eddie Hearn, Matt Trum, whatever. But it's basically a zone to sign with the zone, right? What does that automatically make you think? Oh, well, maybe the fight with Canelo can happen. Whatever. If Johnny Golovkin is signing something significant, they talk about a two-fight deal, $10 million a pop. You're going to sign a deal like that, two-fight, sounds perfect to me. $10 million a fight sounds perfect to me. This is my opinion. I'm going to tell you why. One reason is you're going to have to fight somebody. The Rob Brants and the Marathas of the world are off the table now. He's got to get into the mix. That means Gennady Golovkin wants to fight then. Because knowing to sign with his own means you're going to have to run across that Gennady, uh, that Jacobs uh, Canelo winner. That Billy Joe Saunders um, versus Demetrius Andre. Especially if Andre come through because he's at the zone. So those are the fights they're going to probably have to generate that kind of money to have them fight. Two fights. So that means Rob Brant and Marathas are off the table. Because Gennady Golovkin of late is not as active as he used to be. Fought in September, still no fight announced. Right? Now, I'm telling you, I'm just going to say what I think. If Marata would have beat Rob Brant, we would know who Gennady Golovkin is fighting. He probably would have fought uh, like Canelo did already. Because Canelo keeps moving. He would have probably fought also in December like Canelo did against Fielding, right? If it was Murata, but it's not. So the question is, is he going to fight? Because everyone knows it's going to have to be somebody significant. And he's not getting Canelo, right? So he's going to have to do something. So uh, that might put the Charlo fight in some type of jeopardy, but it wouldn't put the Demetrius Andre fight. So let's see what happens going forward with that. That's very interesting with Gennady Golovkin signing. Because uh, like I say, Two major fights, right? Uh, they both got to be major at that point, right? Got to be major. Anything they think on announce is going to be major. So that's good for Gennady Golovkin. Let's see if he takes it. Right now, it's just an offer, but sounds good to me because that means the next time we see Gennady Golovkin, it'll be in a good fight. And that's what we want to see. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about here, y'all.